Hello guys, Tivik here and welcome to Let's Play Minecraft, episode 10. So, uh, between episodes here I have hooked up a few more of these chests to the automated sorter system and realized that I will need to uh, expand the way my sorting system works at some point. It's not going to be today though. Um, but that's just for the fun of it. I've been to the nether and picked up some more nether rack, uh, as you can see. Let's uh, try it out. I put it on a timer so uh, it will be enough time for it to empty out the chest. And I've set uh, these ones to lamps so that I can see if this machine here is running, the retrievers. And it's not right now. So this will macerate everything up but will not pull anything until I activate that. And it will start. Same goes for this. And this little one switches on and off the water mills. So they will not have any water buckets in them unless I activate this. It's because I don't want to have so many timers running. It shouldn't be a problem and shouldn't cause that much lag, but better safe than sorry. I've also set up overclockers in each one of the macerators, so they're really fast now. Let me show you. Yeah, that's pretty fast. Actually, I can let that one run. Get me some extra glass. Um, yeah, that's what I've been doing. Last episode, I promised we'd get started on a bit of forestry. And I think we're gonna do that uh, today. I wanna do a few things with forestry. I'm not sure where I wanna build it, though. I did... Uh, even out a little area up here, um, just beyond my uh, rubber tree farm here. Over here. This could be an area where I could place some forestry machines. Uh, we'll see. I do want to uh, set up some sort of biofuel generation, and running machines uh, from forestry usually create a lot of excess materials like for instance I would get a lot of saplings and these saplings could be distilled or compressed into biofuel for use with engines but that's gonna require quite a lot of work and um, let's uh, start that off this episode and uh, I might have to build some sort of building up in the jungle we'll see uh, I do think that most of the area east of my house here will be sort of industrialized. I need to build buildings and uh, machines and stuff like that and that area is open and fairly flat. I can dig out the areas I need it as well. So let's get started. I'm gonna pick up some items and uh, see you when I'm ready to get building stuff. So I was looking at the engines that I'm gonna need for my uh, machines and I do generate a fair deal of uh, industrial craft energy so I'm going to go for the electrical engines at least for now. I will probably go over to biogas at some point but for these we are going to need tin gears and they're made from wooden gears who are made into stone gears who are then made into tin gear so let's make two stone gears and uh, grab some more tin. I'm gonna need eight. There we go. Perfect. And now we're gonna need a piston and I can craft this up here. So gonna need iron and some redstone. As you can see I've been mining a lot but I am constantly low on redstone so I'm probably gonna have to transmute a fair deal. But eh, I don't really have anything against that. It's There we go. Electrical engine. Now if I hook this up to, uh, to uh, my electric grid downstairs it should work. Now, I need to make, um, let's see, I need two of these, let's hide that away, two tin, and three copper on each side like that makes bronze ingots. Now the bronze ingots can be made into a 
start a machine, which is then, by the help of my... Where did I put my... Uh, hmm. Oh, right there. There we go, a thermionic fabricator. And we are going to need a redstone torch or a... Oh, we'll make a lever downstairs. Okay. I'm actually gonna grab myself another few glass fiber cables. These are very useful. Uh, I can, using these, just push this up above ground. Maybe I should do that. Hmm. Now, for now, let's uh, put the fabricator down there. Um, let's place it one closer to it there. And if I make one of these little nifty... Of course, I didn't bring any stone with me. Hold on. I can actually pick up levers from there, but I'm... I guess I'm gonna need stone at some point. I'm gonna upgrade that chest as well because it's starting to be very, very full. There we go. This one will take glass, and I'm gonna need quite some of it. And uh, it will start heating up. This takes a bit of time, but the machine should be able to pull this out. I hope. Hmm, let's see. Yes, this is controls for the multiplayer version, so it's heating up slowly. It doesn't seem to be generating enough heat, I don't know. Hmm. There we go. Liquid glass. Awesome. Uh, we're gonna have to grab some more glass. And I did smelt some up, so I should have some in there. There we go. And it's starting to heat up quite some. That's good. Now, the reason I built this thermionic fabricator is that I can start making... Uh, uh, what do you call them? I'll find them in the forestry section. It's, um... Of course I can't find them right now. Where are they? Come on. Stop hiding. Hmm. They're really hiding from me. There we go electron tubes. And these are used for a few different applications, like the peat bog requires copper ones, the tin one, uh, the turbary requires tin ones, the farm and the trade station, not really useful for me, but that requires uh, bronze ones, iron is used for the combine, gold for the arbor arboretum, and diamond ones for the logger. And uh, the diamond ones is five diamonds. That's expensive. Um, but we're going to need the logger at some point. But I think we're going to set up the farm first. So we're going to need to make uh, at least one sturdy machine. These circuit boards as well. But they're made in the carpenter. So huh, maybe I should make the carpenter first. And that's fairly straightforward, just bronze and glass and machine. And we could hook this up here and actually make sure we feed the carpenter with the uh, water buckets so that it has enough water. I think it works that way, we'll see. And uh, put an engine behind it. I wonder if these can overheat. It's very stable on the heat. Hmm. Let's switch it off. Just f 
for the sake of it. And it starts to cool down. And let's switch it on again, and it heats up. 135. It doesn't seem to go over 135 Celsius. Well, that's fair enough. It's currently not outputting anything, really, according to this. Hmm. Oh well. Um, let me craft up another one of these electrical engines and the carpenter, and I'll be back with you. Alright guys, so I um, made a little room here to the side of my sorting area where I can now with that off, where I can now do my build craft stuff. So I put down the carpenter, I've hooked up a pump, and uh, I've set up four of these electrical engines. They do run from the um, from the industrial craft energy from behind there. This one switches this whole thing on and off, by the way. And this uh, is the thermionic fabricator. So we're gonna have to make a farm and a combine. So let's start by making the circuit boards. We need two of these, so total of 12 redstone and uh, some tin. I got the redstone, but let's grab the tin real quick. I'll just grab a bunch. Also for the electron tubes I need to grab a bunch of... Hmm. For the combine I need iron. So I need a bit of bronze and a bit of iron. So let's grab like so and grab a stack and something like that. Just so I have it with me. So I don't have to run for them back. And uh, I switched this off, so we need to keep hitting this one up again. In the meantime, we can create our two... Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They changed that. So that is how you start that machine. That's an odd sound. Okay, it's the machine starting, I suppose. Okay. We re really, really need to make uh, a set of biofuel engines here, but that's later. Okay, so I got one small circuit board, and uh, that's the second. Let's uh, not make any more, and they don't stack, it seems. So let's turn the carpenter off. And, is this heated up? Yes, it is. To make iron ones, we need to do something like this and that. And that will make iron electron tubes. Awesome. And we need one set of bronze ones as well. Sweet. Okay. So, for the combine, we need sturdy machine. So we need two sturdy machines, one for the farm and one for the combine. So yeah, and some glass. I need to macerate up a bunch of this, so let me just quickly... I didn't put anything in there, did I? No. Let's grab a bunch of stone. Oh, I don't have any space. Um, let me just dump this and all these items that I carry along that I don't really need with me right now like that and I don't need these I can dump that there that goes in there like that I'm gonna macerate up all of this into sand and then it will be cooked make it full stacks. That should have... Yeah, that should create enough glass for me to last a lifetime. And you can see this going down into the furnaces. Perfect. And it's only really going to be one furnace used here, since everything will go straight into that one. Alright. So, bronze. That means I'm gonna need 
four of these and um, twelve, I think. That's sixteen, which should net me enough bronze for two sturdy machines. And I'm totally not using the construction table as I should. Now for the farm, I need to have three bronze electron tubes. I didn't make bronze ones, did I? My bad. So I'm gonna need a couple more bronze. That should be enough. Let's go make them. There we go. Bronze electron tubes. Perfect. There we go, and the farm is like this. And where did I put my little... I left them in the carpenter? Yes, I did. That's good of me. Kind of missed the way I used to auto-craft everything, but yeah. Can't have everything. That's a farm. And then with the iron ones and a small circuit board and this, we have the combine. Sweet. Now all I need to do is um, clean up my inventory a little bit. And I've been mining. There we go. I'll just let this sort itself out. Yeah, so... I need to get energy up top. And I do have this set here, but I don't think that my machines can hold this running. However... I am pretty sure that this area down here is up top where I have my energy axis. So if I put my farm, say, up here, I can run a power line all the way up. That should help. Let's close this up just in case we have any enemy spawn in there. Okay, it seems it's getting dark, so I'll sleep until dawn and I'll be right back. There we go. It's daytime again. And uh, there are spiders all, ar all around my base, as usual. So, should be somewhere in this area. Probably here. Let's see now, do I have my axe? If I clear this area out a bit, maybe, maybe remove one of the big trees here. That one maybe. I'm not sure. Might still have the space here, so. I do want sort of this area to be in the center, so... Hmm... Let me think for a moment. The farm and the combine needs to be here. So if I place that one, um, say, there. And the farm there. Where do I end up if I go down here? Okay, straight down there. That's good. Ish. Should be like... There. That could work. Let's see. Yeah, 
Yeah, this could definitely work. So this goes down to the carpenter, but if I attach power to... If I knock this one... I have to take that one as well. And put these... Like that, and then we go this way. And then head up. That'll work. Also, there's iron all over the place. I really shouldn't complain about that, should I? No. Because most of the mods that I use, they require so much iron, it's almost crazy. Um, let's make a bunch of gold and conductive pipes. Um, I'm gonna need a bit of that, so... 32. How am I for redstone? Ugh, running low. But that'll do. So basically, if I go down here now and start moving these up here, fine. And then we have to close this off so we don't have any mobs fall down and start wandering our little house here. Okay, so what do you need for a farm? You need to have, um, just browsing the wiki here, for a normal wheat farm I will need, of course, a lot of seeds, and I don't have a lot of seeds. Um, I need uh, 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 dirt, about two stacks. Gonna need uh, about two stacks of seeds as well, but I think that will sort itself out. Let's um, take all this. have a stack of seeds and the foresters backpack here yeah so I haven't said yet but I've actually removed one mod and put in another two others actually um, I won't spoil the ones that I've put in yet we'll get to that but I have unfortunately had to remove a uh, size uh, farming mod because the sheer amount of things it added caused so much lag for me and uh, it really wasn't possible for me to run with it unfortunately, it not at this point at least. Um, I might get back to it later, but we'll have to see. But I have added two other mods which will be quite interesting, I'm sure. Um, I need to somehow now run the wheat down. Get the wheat down into here. This could be sort of a collection point for all my buildcraft farms or the forestry farms. Let's uh, make a copper chest for that. Do I have any leftover chests? Yes, I do. Let's make one. I will also need normal stone pipes. And these I know how to do. Let's make that many. That'll do. Um, these will pipe everything that is produced by the farms up there. I haven't connected the power to this one yet. That's for a reason. There we go. 
and I need to somehow make sure that this one has enough seeds to work with so hmm. yeah I should use a diamond pipe just uh, provide a pipe but I don't want to start a huge logistic pipe system so the question is, can I do this using tubes? Of course I can. Um, but where would I fit them? Just underneath, maybe. Yeah, I'll go this way down. Since this will be the collection area, there could also be a retriever or even a filter. Let me think. What am I using for the... for this one? I'm using uh, a filter that will push out a water bucket and send it to any available inventory. And that will be the same with the seeds here. So let's grab a bunch of tubes. I do have some. And to make that filter, I need a piston, a red dot wafer, some gold. Simple enough. Let's uh, make the piston. Like that. And um, the red dot wafer needs to be done with these machines here. Oh yeah, I made a lot of brass, by the way. Uh, might as well. Gonna need it at some point. Where did I put the... Alright. A red dot wafer. Two gold. And then just there we go filter. I will need a timer, and the timers are made pointer on a cathode and anodes, and yeah, pointer on a cathode, anodes, and these and these. Yeah, a timer. Perfect. Where did I put? Uh, oh, I never made that chest, did I? <laughs> Just that around copper chest. Brilliant. So things will come down into this here chest. I'll put it there. Filter, actually, no, let's not put it there. Chest could be going there. These pipes should come down here. I can't place them there, can I? Hmm. We'll fix that later. There we go. The filter will pump items out up there and I need to go upstairs to fix this that one there and then oh yeah I can't get to these from this area so I have to go outside down here and place them. I don't think these actually do connect. At least I don't. I hope they don't. But just to be 100% sure, let's place down a few panels. Okay. I'm gonna need one of these seeds and the filter. And we can actually 
try that down below. This is closed and yes it is. Of course. This needs to go like that because I need to have the power pipes on. Like so. This should actually start this machine now. If it's bright enough, but... I don't know what happens if it's this high up. I might have to fill out some space below so I don't have any flooding or similar unpleasantries going on. Okay, let's head down again. There's, a, there's actually two cats trapped here. I'm gonna have to save them later. Let's see, I need to get more covers, but we can make these later. Oh yeah, almost forgot. The handy little Sony screwdriver. So the filter should pull out one of these. And it should pull it in that, no, that direction. So I put these in here. And uh, we can put that one there. That will send them up. And that should keep that machine filled, but let's go upstairs and check. I didn't put these too close. And that puts them in there. Hmm. Oh yeah, it doesn't know which inventory to put it in. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't recognize the other inventory. Hmm, that's kind of interesting. Also, why is this one not receiving power? Is it because it's too far away, maybe? Hmm. Very strange. I might have to think of something else then, but this is how... Oh yeah, it's working. It's digging now, so yeah, it's definitely working. Let's uh, help it a bit. Remove this one and these ones. It's digging, but not very fast. I wonder if this is in the way. Shouldn't be. Yeah. I'll leave it running for a while and uh, we'll see how it goes. Just stopping by my uh, coke ovens here and um, I started thinking and realized that I don't want to build a farm that way. At least not now. So I put all these things back and uh, instead I am going to start using this little interesting mod. Steve's carts and Railcraft. There is a way you can make uh, make uh, normal farms using that one, and it's quite neat, I tell you. But that's gonna be in the next episode. However, I wanted to show you one of the mods that I added in between nine and ten. This mod is quite cool, I say. I'm going to need some sugar canes and I am going to need to make some paper. I'm gonna need two of them and I need to make a book and I'm gonna need two of those. I will also need a feather and uh, 
with this feather I am crafting a descriptive book. This is Mistcraft. Now I have to be very careful with this and I'm not gonna start using it right away because it can potentially crash my world and that would be very unfortunate so yeah I'm gonna try to avoid that. Um, we are going to start using it fairly soon I think but uh, not gonna stress it so let you guys come up with some neat ideas for me uh, what kind of worlds you would like to see if I wanna make any cool dimensions stuff like that. I got a comment back uh, in uh, the Thomcraft episode that starting a Thomcraft base in the desert is not recommended and yeah, after reading up on Thomcraft a bit, I realized that that is entirely correct. Thomcraft and desert is a bad combination, so I am probably gonna have to scrap that base. However, this little temple that I built will be my, you guessed it, Mistcraft Nexus. So that will be where I walk in, grab a destination, and teleport off. I think that will be quite cool, and especially since I have the little neat, uh, little neat uh, sugarcane farm there already going. So that's gonna be for future episodes, guys. But in the next episode, I will lay down some tracks, build some carts, and uh, yeah, we'll have some fun. So in the next episode, see you guys. Bye.